the amount of times I've had parents pull me aside and say, what do I need to do to set them up for success? And I just think it's completely backwards. I, I truly do. I don't think there's any system to it. I don't think there's a playbook of how you make it to the NFL or how you make it to the Olympics. There isn't. I think what you need to do as parents is give your child the best opportunity to be exposed to the most, like, to as many different options of hobbies and opportunities and experiences and sports and classes as you can, and then let them pick. I think one thing you can do as a parent is encourage commitment because I think everything's going to be difficult. You're going to be faced with roadblocks and challenges throughout the way of anything, but I truly believe we were all given like a talent and something and it's just our job to find it. Yeah. You have to cast a wide net. And I, and I think yes. specialization is something and I, I know your children are young and I'm sure at some point they'll enter into this crazy world. And every year I just think back to when I was a kid and even after I was decided, all right, I'm going to go, I'm going to be a college football player. I'm a senior high, I'm senior in high school and I'm on the track team and I'm playing yeah. basketball. I wasn't good. Like that was not playing those sports because I was going to continue to play beyond that level. That was just what kids did when I was growing up. You, you, you tried new things. Even if they weren't your best sport, you just kept going. What I'm seeing now is the idea of specialization. What I think ad, the adverse effects physically and mentally of always doing the same thing, I understand. But the point that I think is so important that you make is if you don't cast a wide net at a young age, you, you didn't get forced into gymnastics and then develop the passion. You cast this wide net and you found gymnastics and gymnastics in essence found you. The same thing was with me in football and so many other, you know, so many other people that I know. It's for the young kids that are pressured that you need to make a decision because you're a really good 11-year-old basketball player and now all of a sudden the other sports stop. Well, what if at 17 you were going to be a really good basketball player? Or what if at 17... Even if you weren't a good basketball player, what if that was your true love? What if that was your passion you wanted to spend 20 hours a week doing? We don't allow kids to find it because if they haven't made up their mind by 10 or 12 years old to get on that travel team, to get on <laughs> yeah. this elite performance team, yeah. there's a keeping up with the Joneses concept where you almost feel yeah. like your kid's being left behind. 